Hello, this is Scott Chacon, the CEO of Gip Butler. Welcome to another episode of Bits and Booze. Today, we will be drinking glue vine from a special Christmas market, and we will be talking about Git Notes. One of our users suggested it, so don't forget to suggest things. We might just do it for you. Join us. Welcome to Bits and Booze. This is uh, a special episode of Bits and Booze. It is a holiday episode. Uh, I have here with me Esteban, my friend and fellow Git Butler. We are going to go over Git Notes. And do you know why? Why? Why we're going to go over Git Notes? I think I know why. It is because we had a person in the comments of the second episode of Bits and Booze that said, will you do Git Notes? Think about this. If you want us to do something interesting, just let us know. We will do an episode about this. It could be a special Christmas episode. Who knows? Uh, what is the name? RJ RJ Cuba. Ski. Scuba ski. Scuba ski. RJ Scuba ski said, you will you do get notes? And yes, we will do get notes. We will do everything. <laughs> Who knows? It is a special holiday episode. Yeah. And we are in Germany. It's winter. There's a thing in Germany that is called Glühwein. Now, is there a word for hot wine in Spanish? Uh -huh. Generally. I, don't, I actually don't know. Actually, me neither. Like, vino caliente. Vino caliente. Okay. But in so, English, it's mulled wine. In huh? English, it's mulled wine. Yeah. It's not just heated up wine. Right. right? Yeah, it yeah. is. You put spices into the wine. In France, it's vin chaud, mm -hmm. which is the same, right? It's it's hot wine. In yeah, in German, it's Glühwein, yeah. which is which is what you can see sort of on the on the labels here probably. Yeah. I think these two bottles cost us total six euros. Yeah. I think yeah. between the two of them, it's like three <laughs> euros each. It's not good wine. Yeah. But if you're gonna heat it up and put spices and stuff into it, this is this is what you end up with. So it makes me feel warm and fuzzy. That's true, yeah. So and that is Christmas all about, no? This is what Christmas is all about, yeah. is spices and warm and fuzzy. Spices and warm. So more Cheers. alcohol, yeah. You've never used Git Notes before. Never in my life. So most, I feel like most people have never used Git Notes before. Uh -huh. um, Git Notes, so the reason that this came about is because there is a big, I think, problem with Git, which is once you commit something, the shaw of the commit is immutable, mm -hmm. right? It's very, you can't change it. You can't add data to it. You can't like change anything about it. You can't sign off on it, right? Mm -hmm. In a way that other people are, are like, okay, Scott signed off on this commit that Esteban did. And so if I do that and we change the commit, that changes the SHA. And that, that can be problematic for lots of ways. And so what Git Notes was built to do is to get around it, is okay. to say, here's a thing that references that commit and adds more data to it. And if you run Git log, you'll see it, right? Or if you go to some forges, you'll see it. It is doable. If you use Garrett, if you use other sort of systems, they will attach sort of review and stuff like that in mm -hmm. notes. And mm -hmm. so you can see the notes sort of after the fact. So mm. what we're going to do is look at Git notes. We're going to see how it's implemented. We're going to see how to add them. We're going to see how to push them and how to merge them. And, and hopefully, okay. maybe, actually, I'm not sure if we're going to get into that, but like, let's look at them. So just to fully understand though, yeah. the, the purpose of this is just in order to be able to not change history by adding more information to a change. Correct. Is that correct? That okay. is a perfect summarization. Yeah. I just wanted to make play. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Let's go. You can't Mexican explain something to me and say I can explain. I think I think I can. I think I just did. Let's do a quick demo. How to add notes, how to push notes, how to how to deal with notes, you're right? right? Because you're right. If you have commit data, you don't want to change it, but you want to add data to it right. after the fact. Notes is really the only sort of Git way to do that, mm -hmm. right? And it's kind of tacked on, but let's look at how it's tacked on. So there is a Git notes command, right? So let's run Lola which is your alias for all of these things. It's saying, just show me one line per commit and give it a graph and decorate it and, and give me an idea of what my history looks like. So we run Lola. Again, you won't have this. Git log dash dash one line dash dash graph dash dash all, something like that. Um, so we have this nice history. Let's say that we want to add a note to this, this merge branch DOS, right? The, right. the last thing that we have. Okay. 
And so what you can do is you can say, get notes, and then space add, and then dash M. It's similar to git commit dash M, right? Okay. Uh, dash M, and then you say anything you want. I just want to first apologize in behalf of Mexico for what I'm about to do. <laughs> is it gonna evolve <laughs> Chihuahua? <laughs> arriba, arriba. There you go. All right, fair enough. So now this commit is more Mexicanized than it would have been before. Correct. Right, and so now the cool thing you can do mm -hmm. now is run uh, git log. Now you'll notice in the first commit, there is this notes section that says, Arriba, arriba. <laughs> it's it. No, just to correct yourself. Uh, arriba, arriba. Uh, I can't. I can't roll my R's. I can't do it. Tongue. I can do the. Uh, I can do the back of the the throat. Right. Sort of French. Uh, yeah. Also German, I guess. No. Uh, but I can't do the the front of the tongue. Uh, uh, like I can't. Yeah. And so what I do instead is a D. So I'll do a D sound like arriba, arriba. What's interesting about this is that if you look at the previous thing, it did not change the commit shaw, right? If you say, amend the commit, right? Or edit, like do an interactive rebase as per our last episode and edit the commit message and right. say, I'm gonna sign off on this or, or I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do something to this. Yeah. That will change the SHA because the SHA is the SHA of the contents of the entire commit. This does not change the SHA. This yeah. adds onto the SHA, <clears throat> right? And you can, you can continue to add notes. So let's add another note. Let's say git notes, actually, Let's do git notes add. Muy caliente. I think. Muy caliente. Okay, so let's say muy caliente. Uh, this, this commit is muy caliente. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if you have a problem with uh, <laughs> adding a new note because something existed before, right. then there is a git notes append okay. command. And so you can do essentially the same as add. If add says, nope, you can't do this, then you say, nope, okay, never mind, append dash M and give it something else that you want to add. Okay. So let's do muy caliente. Let's be muy caliente. Boom. How caliente can you be? Muy caliente. <laughs> <laughs> so now you run git log and you see you have the commit that you were on mm -hmm. and you have the, your two notes. You have arriba, arriba, <laughs> and you have muy caliente. That's it. And you can keep appending, right? right. And essentially what, the, so let's look at how it's stored. Mm -hmm. It is not rewriting the commit object itself okay. because that would change the SHA. Like mm -hmm. any data you add to it changes the SHA and you don't want to change the SHA. So what it's doing is, is adding a completely separate thing that references that and you can push separately. Let's ls dot git slash refs slash notes. Oh, so it creates okay. another directory in so of the it refs. does. It creates it creates a new ref, right? Mm -hmm. And this is very interesting because you can push and pull these refs, mm -hmm. right? They're completely separate. Mm -hmm. They're very different than the normal references that you'll do as branches or something like that. But like let's look at it. Let's do a git cat file dash p uh refs notes commits not this mm. <laughs> <laughs> let's say git log refs notes commits i want i want to see actually what this what this we we've only done one so it's not you have to do a d <laughs> git log what refs notes commits With an E. Not this. Notes. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so there's two things you've done, right? And it, it, it's not unlike the way that, that Git Butler kind of does this Oplon, right? Like right. it's storing data that is referencing other data mm -hmm. in a thing that is separate. Run, run Git log just to see what the last thing is. <laughs> I mean, throw a slash in there, certainly. Yes. Yeah. All right, you have Arriba, Arriba, and Caliente uh, on 3D2, right? Mm -hmm. so, so let's look at what the logs, that tree, but cat file dash P refs notes commits. Like what is, com, what is the, the reference for the, the notes thing look at, right? Okay. So if you do that on 
Sure. So now let's look at the actual tree. Six five. Not, yeah, that one. I see. Okay. Because so we're looking at the at the tree of the notes. We're looking at the tree of the notes. Okay. What does the tree of the notes look like? Okay. Right, because it's it's very weird. Okay. So if you look at that, this is a tree where the tree entry is a SHA, right, of data. And the thing that it points to is actually the, the SHA of the commit that it's annotating, right? Okay. So the SHA of the commit it's annotating is 3D2, blah, blah, blah. So you can, see that, you can see that down here, mm -hmm. mm, 3D2, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, so let's look at 626. Like what does that actual note data look like? So okay. you can do cat file dash p that thing and see like what is that? That's a blob, right? That that is a, a set of data. This is how Git notes works, right? It's not unlike the way that we do an op log right. in in Git below or something. Mm -hmm. We we write this separate sort of Git commit history and we say here's the thing that we're annotating and here's what we're annotating it for. And if you want to add to it, you have to change that blob that points to that commit. So this is why. Git notes is interesting, right? Like you can add data onto a commit without changing the SHA of the commit. You can push it up, you can merge it in. It, it's not perfect, but there are ways of using this in order to say, here's a way that Git understands kind of this data structure. Right. And I can add data to this in a way that doesn't change the SHA and doesn't change the history. Um, and so that's why Git notes exists. Um, so now that we're done with Git notes, Thank you for joining us. My friend Esteban has a ukulele. <laughs> Let's we take it. We are going to sing a song that is dear to me, dear to my family. Tú, tú eres el hermano y yo soy el metal. Me voy a casar ando, voy armando el plan. Solo con pensar nos hace la repuso. Despacito. Quiero respirar el cuero despacito. De que se diga cosas a marido para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo. Thank you for joining me. A pleasure. <laughs> for this episode of Bits and Booze with Git Notes. Yeah. It, you know, it's a, it's a, uh, uh, a gift. Yeah. For RJ Scuba Ski. <laughs> Merry Christmas.